motion on adjournment by the our honorable deputy speaker, uh, Madam Paul Cholet, that first I want to congratulate her uh, for the passion that she's followed this matter despite the fact that it has not been, uh, she's not been able to move far. But highlighting on it is actually one way of uh, making people to be aware and to be, and the institutions concerned. Honorable Speaker, why haven't we moved? Because when you look at uh, the impact of pesticides, you look at even herbicides, la paraquat, pesticide, uh, herbicides that uh, are glycophosphates that are completely harmful. If you, take a, if you take a sip of paraquat, it, is, it will kill a human being. And yet the factories continue manufacturing it. We continue using it within our own uh, system. Uh, one of our biggest problems, which we must be able to accept as a country, is that we are weak on legislation. There is no law on food safety in this country. And the Committee on Agriculture, I think, was trying to look at the law on food safety, and they have not even brought it into this floor. It is not yet, even for the pre-publication. And I want to call upon the Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture and the PS Agriculture and the Committee on Agriculture that this is a time to cease, that we must be able to begin early and have a, lo a law on food safety, because food safety is a very important factor. Honorable Speaker, occasionally most of us who go to Western Kenya, you drive all the way to Sokomuchinga in, uh, at the border of Nyandarwa and here, and you look at the lorries carrying uh, cabbages and skumawiki. That is not the way to transport food. And that food will end up in Nairobi, it will end up in your supermarket, and it will end up in your table and you'll eat. That is, no, that is not a hygienic food. We do, not have a, we do not have proper packaging of food even in this country. We do not have even proper transportation. How do we transport even cabbages, leave alone anything else, even cabbages, right from where they have been done up to here. And even those cabbages, as you bring them from the farm, have we washed them? to make sure that the chemicals have been washed off. Because by when you spray these chemicals on the, on, the, on, on the land to spray the cabbages, or to spray the skumawik, or to spray even fruits on the, in the farm, what happens is the, 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 the contents that are going to remain on the food before it reaches the market, we do not have a mechanism to ensure that this food that is reaching the market is safe for human consumption. Because there must be a mechanism to ensure that even by the time it is going to the supermarket, it has been washed to a certain level that it is safe for consumption. We'll pick it in there. Even fruits, which you, are, which you go buy in the supermarket, they've been sprayed with the chemicals, both herbicides and pesticides. You go out into the supermarket, you buy them, you, take, you even start chewing it in the car or on your way to, ho to, the, to, 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 to your home. And that is how many people are going to get cancers. That is how many people are going to get uh, other conditions, whether neuro neurotoxic, whether uh, hormonal diseases, whether genetic diseases. That's how we are going to transmit. So for me, I think where we need to begin as a country is to have a food safety law. Once we have that, we should also strengthen the pesticide control uh, unit within the Ministry of uh, Agriculture. When it comes to even, you know, occasionally uh, you'll hear people complaining that uh, the sugar has some bit of mercury, they're complaining that the meat in the supermarket has been given a lot of preservatives beyond the normal then it is just for a short period. Then after that, people go back to their day-to-day -day, uh, consumption. They continue, eating the they continue eating the sugar with mercury. They continue eating the meat that has been put, more chemical preservative. You go to the supermarket.
g give him uh, one uh, minute. One minute. One. I was wait waiting for the warning, Honorable Speaker, so that I can be able to time myself. And thank you, Honorable Speaker, for being magnanimous to give me one minute. So, uh, Honorable Speaker, I think we need to make sure that our regulatory rules are in place and we must have an enforcement mechanism for those laws so that we can be able to ensure that whatever is, not harm, whatever is harmful to all our people is preventable and primary health care is the key way to go. With those few remarks, Honorable Speaker, I support. Sante sana. Mjumbe wa Jimbo la Mombasa, Mwashimiwa Zamza Mchimba. Sante sana, Bwana Speaker. Kwanza nitoe rambirambi zangu za pole kwa dadangu uh, Deputy Speaker, dadangu kipenzi Honorable Shole.